Africa, we want to recruit the best talent into our business. Um, somebody who has done more than just studied typically is a better candidate because they're able to provide more examples, they're, they're able to operate better in some of our tasks. To be a committee member you need to just be passionate about what we want and to help other people as well. You have to be organised and efficient with your time. It's nice to be on an active role where actually you take in charge of delegating jobs or actually you know, making sure projects and tasks are accomplished as well as meeting new me members of different ages. From my experience at Centrica, the Bright Future societies are very well organised um, they're very proactive. You already have a base of clients and that you can choose from companies who already know about the organisation and know that it is a serious thing so then that's really easy to get them to come to your events. It's the closest thing that you're going to get to a business environment because you're planning, you've got a financial map and you've got to put to, together events in order, you know, in order to get clients, well clients as in corporate sponsors to come along and oh, it's really, really useful to have that experience. I, don't think, I think it's rare to find that elsewhere in a university environment. The benefit for students joining Bright Futures uh, is, is endless um, from networking, from uh, um, uh, interaction with employers, from attending events, um, uh, particularly through becoming a committee member, um, and again, that uh, project management experience um, that can be achieved, as well as uh, the, the contact with other students and, and with employers. Somebody who's been part of Bright Futures can potentially prepare themselves better for what an employer is looking for um, and perform better in the recruitment process and therefore be more attractive to us as an employer.